हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस थ्योरम 14 इन सेशन 4 द चैप्टर 12 सर्किल सो थ्योरम 14 इट इज इट इज स्टेट्स दैट इफ द टू कॉर्ड्स ऑफ द कॉन्ग्रेंट सर्किल्स आर इक्वल देन प्रूव दैट देयर कोरिस्पोंडिंग आर्क्स आर कॉन्ग्रेंट दिस आर्क मे आइदर माइनर मेजर और सेमी सर्कुलर आर्क सो वी कंसीडर द टू सर्किल्स टू दे आर द टू कॉन्ग्रेंट सर्किल्स These are the two congruent circles in which this is the center O, this is the center O dash. So these are the two congruent circles. So the two chords of the congruent circles are equal. We suppose this is the chord AB for first circle and this is the chord CD for the second circle. And these two chords are equal. So we have to prove that this arc AB minor arc this arc CD are congruent. If it is the major arc AB congruent to arc CD and if it is the semi circular. Here, so given given let AB and CD are two equal chords equal chords of Congruent circles, congruent circles COR and CO dash S. So we have to prove, we have to prove this arc AB congruent to arc CD, it is the minor major. Or semi-circle. Semi-circle. These are the three possibilities about this R. So if these two chords are not the diameter, then we join O A, O B, O dash C and O O dash D. So construction. Construction. Join. O A, O B, O dash C and O dash D. Now proof case one. R A B and C D are minor arcs. Minor arcs. So since circle C O R congruent to circle C O dash S. This implies that we can write this R equal to S. Both their radii are equal. So in triangle A O B and triangle C O dash D, we compare this O A equal to O dash C, O B equal to O dash D. This is this R equal to S. And this AB equal to CD, it is given. So, therefore, triangle AOB congruent to triangle CO dash D by SSS congruency. So, by CBCD, by CBCD, this angle AOB equal to angle CO dash D. This implies that the degree measure of arc AB equal to degree measure of arc CD. So if their degree measures are equal, this implies that the arc AB arc AB congruent to arc CD. So if these are the minor arc, then they are congruent. Now case two. Case two. If AB and CB are major arc. Major arcs. Now we suppose that ये arc, ये major arc है. तो we can say this BA will be the minor arc. So therefore we can add this BA and BC are 
माइनर आर्क्स ये माइनर आर्क्स होगा नाउ सिंस दिस ए बी इक्वल टू सी डी दिस इंप्लाइज दैट वी कैन ऐड दिस बी ए इक्वल टू डी सी बिकॉज़ दिस इज द लाइन सेगमेंट सो बी एंड डी सी आर माइनर आर्क एंड दिस बी ए इक्वल टू डी सी सो फ्रॉम केस फर्स्ट फ्रॉम केस फर्स्ट we can write this arc BA congruent to arc DC. This implies that the degree measure of arc BA equal to degree measure of arc DC. So कि ये minor arc है और चूंकि BA और DC को पहले केस से हम इसको कर सकते हैं कि ये दोनों congruent है। जब ये congruent है तो दोनों का degree measure भी आपस में equal होगा। Now this implies that we can replace this the three sixty minus degree measure of arc BA Equal to 360 degree minus degree measure of arc DC. So out of the 360 degree, this angle is taken. Now we can find out this is the degree measure of arc measure arc. This implies that degree measure of arc AB equal to degree measure of arc CD. And if this implies that we can add this AB congruent to arc CD. So if the arc R minor or major, they are congruent. But in case of third, in third case if they are semicircular arc, So, case third, if it is the same circular arc, case third, if AB and CD are same circular. और सेमी सर्कुलर आर आर सो हियर वी कैन सी इट इज द सेमी सर्कुलर आर ऑफ द टू कंग्रेट सर्किल्स सो हियर इट इज द डायमीटर सपोज दिस द डायमीटर दिस द सेंटर ओ ए बी एंड दिस द ओ डैश दिस द सी डी And if both are congruent, in that case, so semi-circular arc. So since this AB equal to CD, this implies angle AOB equal to angle COD, CO dash D. These are diameter of diameter of congruent circles. Circles. So we can write this again A O B equal to angle. This is the equal to 180 degree, and this is also equal to 180 degree, which is equal to the 180 degree. This implies that this degree measure of semicircular arc A B equal to degree measure of arc semicircular arc C D. This implies that this arc A B congruent to arc C D. So that is proved in the all three cases. If this arc be either minor, major, or semicircular. We know that if the two parts of the congruent circles are equal, then their corresponding congruent arcs are congruent.
थ्यूरम फिफ्टीन थ्यूरम फिफ्टीन की सी में प्रूफ दैट प्रूफ दैट इक्वल कॉर्स ऑफ कंक्रीट सर्किल्स कंक्रीट सर्किल्स आर इक्वी डिस्टेंस इक्वी डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम फ्रॉम कोरिस्पॉन्डिंग सेंटर कोरिस्पॉन्डिंग सेंटर्स so here we consider the two circles are there and these two circles are congruent to each other these two circles are congruent to each other this is the center o and this is the center o s so we consider these are the two cords ab and cd and both are equal this is the o s o m this is the cord ab This is the part C D O M perpendicular to A B O M perpendicular to C D. So here two equal parts of the circles are equal distance from their corresponding centers. So here we can see that given let A B and C D are Equal parts, equal parts of congruent circles, congruent circles C O R and C O D S is. Let O M perpendicular to A B and O N perpendicular to C D. So we have to prove. We have to prove this O M equal to O D S M. Now construction, construction. We join O A and O D S C. Join O A and O D S C. Now prove. Since O M perpendicular to A B, this implies that A M equal to B M equal to half of A B, and O D S M perpendicular to C D implies that C M equal to D M equal to half of C D. Now, since it is since this A B equal to C D. Implies that half of AB equal to half of CD. This implies that AM equal to CN. This implies that this AM square equal to CN square. This is the relation first. Now, since R is equal to S, this implies that OA equal to O as a C. This implies that this O A square equal to O D S C square. From Pythagoras theorem, we can write this O A square equal to A M square plus O M square equal to this is the C N square plus O D S N square. Imply that this A M square plus O M square and C N square is replaced by A M square. Plus O D S N square from first. So this O M square M square is this implies that O M square equal to O D S N square. So this implies that this O M equal to O D S N. This verifies that this our required proof. This proves that the equal parts of the congruent circles are equal distance from their corresponding centers. Theorem sixteen.
Sudam 16, which is the converse of Sudam 15. The chords of congruent circles, chords of congruent circles which are which are equidistance equidistance from their corresponding corresponding centers centers are equal here is the converse the chords of the component circles which are equidistant from the corresponding centers are equal so this is the converse of theorem 15 these are the two component circles This is the component circles O and O dash, and this is the chord AB, and this is the chord CD. CD O M perpendicular to AB and O dash N perpendicular to CD, such that this O M equal to O dash N. Given, let A, B and C, D and C, D are chords of chords of congruent circles congruent circles C, O, R and C, O, S, S let O, M perpendicular to A, B and O dash N perpendicular to C D such that this O M equal to O dash N that is these two parts are equidistant from their corresponding centers. So we have to prove we have to prove this A B equal to C D. Now construction construction join O A and O dash C. Here the segment is O A and O dash C is joined. So what's the relation? Proof. Since O M perpendicular to A B, this implies that A M equal to B M equal to the half of A B. And O dash N perpendicular to CD implies that this is CN equal to DN equal to half of CD. Now it is given since this OM equal to O dash N implies that this OM is square equal to O dash N whole square. This is the relation first. Now since this O A equal to O dash C because this R equal to H. These are the component circles. This implies that O A square equal to O dash C is square. From Pythagoras theorem, we can write this the A M is square plus O M is square. This is equal to C N is square plus O dash N whole square. Now this implies that A M is square plus O M is square. Equal to C n square and O dash n square can be written O m square from first. So this O m square, O m square cancel. This implies that A m square equal to C n square. This implies that A m equal to C n. So value of A m is equal to the half of A b. We can write this one by two A b and C n equal to this C n equal to half of C d. So we can replace half of C d. Half to half cancel. This implies that this AB equal to CD. This hence chords are hence chords are equal. And this is your equal. That's required to prove.
students <coughs> seventy Here, theorem seventy. It is given. Prove that. Prove that. Equal chords. Equal chords of a of congruent circles. Congruent circles. Subtain. Equal angles, equal angles at corresponding center. Corresponding centers. So these are the two circles. These are the two congruent circles. This is the center O. This is the chord AB. This is the chord C D and chord S. This is the C D. So let given let A B and C D are equal chords, equal chords of congruent circles, congruent circles. C O R and C O S S. So we have to prove. We have to prove angle A O B equal to angle C O S D. Construction. Construction. So as we join this O to A, O to B, O S C and O S D. So join. Join OA, OB, ODC, and ODSD. Now prove since circle COR congruent to circle COS is this implies that this R equal to S. So in triangle AOB and triangle COSD, this OA equal to ODC. OB equal to O S D. This is equal to R equal to S. And this AB equal to C D is the given. So therefore, triangle AOB congruent to triangle C O S D by by S S S congruency. So there by C B C D by C B C D. We can get angle A O B equal to angle C O D S D, and this is your required proof. So this is the proof of theorem number seventeen. Now, next theorem. Which is the converse of theorem seventeen? Theorem eighteen.
if the angle subtended by if the angle angles subtended subtended by cos of cos of two congruent circles congruent if the angles are subtended by the cos of two congruent circles circles at corresponding center corresponding centers are equal are equal then prove that then prove that chords are equal chords are equal so we consider they are the two congruent circles the other two congruent circles this is the center o s o and o s this is called ab this is called cd given let ab and cd are chords of chords of two congruent circles congruent circles cor and co s s such that such that angle aob equal to angle co s d so we have to prove we have to prove this ab equal to c d now proof since ab and cd subtend subtend equal angles angles at their corresponding center corresponding centers so therefore angle aob equal to angle co dash d this is the relation first now in triangle aob and triangle co dash d this oa equal to o dash c this is r equal to this angle aob equal to angle co dash d it is given and and this ob is equal to o dash d this is also r equal to s so by s a s congruence criteria criteria triangle triangle a o b congruent to triangle c o dash d by c b c d this ab equal to c d hence hence chords are equal chords are equal and that's true so that by this way the all theorems of the circles first section of the circle is completed that's all